Hey Vixies, today we're doing a fun St. Patrick's Day manicure. So I will be using my double dip liquids, the White Gleam 634 from Double Dip, which is a white, I think it's shimmery. Yeah, it's shimmery. And Champagne Sparkle, which is a gold glitter. And I'll be using my Double Dip Clear, some fun little decals from Double Dip. And I just got this stamping gel set off of Amazon. So I haven't even played with this yet. I kind of opened it and looked at what was in it, but I haven't done anything with it yet. So we'll be using this. And I also got these little nail tools, brushes, so we'll be playing with those as well. And my nails are already prepped. I'll put a prep video here for you if you're interested in how I prep and apply my peel base then. So I will put that here for you. And I am going to go ahead and then get started with the white gleam. We're going to be putting this on each nail. We're going to do two dips of the white gleam. So I'll get started with that. If you need a basic dip powder application video, I do have that as well, which I'll link for you. But I'm going to go ahead and speed through that because otherwise I feel like the video might be too long with the nail art that we're doing. So I will do that and I will be back.
Okay, friends, so you're probably wondering why I didn't go the whole way down to my cuticle. That is because we are going to put champagne sparkle along our cuticle. So I'm going to attempt to freehand this. We'll see how that goes. Um, but look how beautiful white gleam is. It is so pretty. And I actually ended up doing three dips because it was a little see-through in a couple of spots, which is normal for white dip powders. So I did do three dips of white gleam. So you're going to watch me here try to freehand on the champagne sparkle at my cuticle. Okay, so what do you think? I'm going to clear coat everything. So I'm just going to do a dip of clear. This is my double dip clear. I just have it in this little jar because 
it's contaminated with glitter, so I use this for my glitter manicures. I'm going to do that and I'll be back. Okay, so I did one dip of clear. I'm going to activate. And I only did one dip of clear and then if you saw it was kind of rolling. You wanna wait until it's almost dry. You don't want it to be sticky. Um, and then I just kind of press. Whenever I do stuff like this, I don't want any build up there. So I really press down. And you'll see me do that here with the activator as well. So I am just going to dust off the excess and activate when you're activating you'll feel it kind of start to dry a little and that's when i kind of press it down some more just to kind of make sure i'm not getting any weird ledges or bumpiness this will just kind of help with that but you wanna wait until it's a little dry or it'll stick to your finger and make a mess. So make sure you're, if you're going to do this, that you're waiting until it's a little dry. This should just help so that your buffing and filing is a little bit faster. Cause as you can see, I've got a little bit of unevenness, but for us doing two different dips freehand like that, it's not bad at all, so. Okay, so I'm just going to apply one more real quick. I'm not going to press it down this time. And then I am going to wait about two minutes, buff, file, reshape my nails, and come back and we'll do our decals and nail art. Okay, so we've buffed, filed, and reshaped. I have a sandwich baggie here to put my colors on. And we are going to, the instructions say to apply a gel base coat first. So I'm going to apply my Model 1's gel base coat. And if I didn't say already, everything will be linked down below for you as well as discount codes. The gel liquids and LED lamp that I have, I got on Amazon, so I'll link those below as well.
so I cured the gel base coat and I cured that for 60 seconds and I am going to go ahead and use my dotting tools so this is the set I got and I'm going to take out this one too because this first one I pulled out might be a little too big this one's got a finer end on it so I'll be using one of these two, but I'll link these below as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put my liquids on here. So I have all the colors I'm using because what we are going to do is we are going to use the gel color and the dotting tool. And we are going to do like dots of and make a rainbow. Um, I'm also going to put on one of my decals. I'm just not sure. I have to see if it's going to fit on this one or this one. So the rainbow might go that way and end here, or it might come this way and end here. I just don't know if my pinky nail has um, enough there to actually apply the decal. So we'll see, but I'm going to be doing the dotting tool using the gel and doing a rainbow, and then we'll be doing our decal as well. So I'll probably actually put the decal on first. So I will let you watch me do that.
Okay, so I got way too much of this out. You don't need nearly that much, but it was my first time, so I didn't know how much I would need. So we're just going to put that aside. And what do you think? I think it turned out pretty cute. I'm really happy with it. So it's the rainbow going down to the pot of gold. All right, so let's go ahead. I am going to put on my gel top coat, which is model ones again. Now I did cure the color gel. I cured that for about a minute and a half because I did 60 seconds and it was still a little wet. I kind of tapped it with my finger and it was still a little wet, probably because of the thickness of the little dots. So I cured it for another 30 seconds. So I did a total of 90 seconds for curing that, at least in my lamp. Lamps do vary, so you may not need to cure it as long depending on your lamp, or you might have to do it for longer, but just depends on your lamp. Mine I think is 48. Mine I think is 48 watts. But I'll have it linked down below for you. This is another way to do decals too. I used to, I just did a video on doing decals, but I used to finish up my dip. Actually, I already did my phone. I used to finish up my dip and I would put on my decal and then just top coat it with gel. Okay, this is our finished product. I cured the top coat for 60 seconds and applied some cuticle oil to rehydrate my skin. My cuticles are a little red because I had that glitter down there. I really had to go around the cuticle area, but that should calm down in an hour or so. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications so you don't miss any videos. If you have any product or video suggestions or questions, you can leave them below or find me on Instagram at DippingPixie. I'd love to see you over there as well. And let me know down below if this is something you have tried or would try. So let me know your thoughts. And that's it for this one, guys. And I will see you in the next one.